Taking a look at the back seat, um, again, I'm 6'2", I'll run over to the other side and get in. It's really quite comfortable. I would not have any problem taking a long road trip in here. This, uh, this seat here is back pretty far. It's got a nice middle seat here. This comes down. Back here, there's a ski bag. That's part of the winter and premium package this car has, so that's nice. Again, really nice, comfortable leather. Room up here for some in-flight magazines. Uh, your window switches, you push it once, it'll go down a little bit. Push it all the way, it goes all the way down, and they do go all the way down, which is quite nice. Your climate control and cup holders are here. Unfortunately, the back seats are not heated. I do not believe that was an option. Um, but for the amount of time that people ride back here, it's not really needed. Um, again, climate control, you can select cool or warm air, open or close the vents, and of course, rearrange them uh, any way you like. Taking a look at the back door, you're going to see the window switch we talked about earlier, obviously your door handle, continuing that nice aluminum trim. One speaker here, and there is another one on the door pillar here. Ashtray down here, if you smoke. Um, again, nice leather, nice materials used here. And um, in my family, we have this tradition, the door test. Close the door, it's solid, it's a good car. To me, that was a pretty solid door test. We'll take a look at this front door, too. Pretty much the... Uh, same setup, you have your vent on the door, speaker, two speakers on this door actually. Your handle, when, the, when you're in the car, the car locks itself when you hit about 2,000 RPM or when you shift to second gear. Then when you want to get out, you pull it once, unlocks the door, pull it again, it's going to go ahead and open your door for you. With M Tradition, you're going to see your M5 door sill and mats down there. Let's try that door test. Sounds good to me. You're going to find your trunk and um, hood release here. You can just use the key. I don't know why they put a trunk release there, but the hood is down here. To get into the hood, you're going to uh, pull the release, pull this up, and it'll hydraulically lift itself as such. Beneath the hood is the 5 liter 90 degree V8 producing 400 horsepower and 375 pound feet of torque. Down here you're going to find your headlight cleaners. Those will work, it's like every third time your wipers go or something like that, you can set that in the computer system to clean your headlights. You can see this car doesn't have the Xeon lights yet. I think that may be my next upgrade. Um, these are the standard lights which unfortunately get dirty under the glass and there's no way to clean them. You can always tell an M by the lower front grill here, company uh, by the fog lights. Looks good, it's a little lower gets better air intake to the engine. Take a quick look at these a million way adjustable seats here. It's all uh, automatic controls here. You're gonna find this one here moves around that thing in the back. Don't know what it's called but it feels good when you move that. Uh, here you're gonna be able to move your uh, headrest up and down and then your seat front and back. The bottom one push it forward the whole seat moves forward and you can also move it up and down to adjust uh, the pitch of the seat and this whole thing will go down to retract the whole seat. Up here there's a uh, name for that, I think it's just thigh support but that's nice if you've got long legs you can extend your legs and use that. Really comfortable seat. Just have to say BMW really did a great job with the seat. The driver's door you're gonna find a couple nice things over here including memory. So if you have a couple different people that drive the car and they have different seat positions, you can save those seat positions and numbers. And uh, for example, I set mine to number one, that'll set my seat up the way I want, back as far as I like, and, and so forth. Over here, obviously your speaker, mirrors are adjustable here, window controls, window lock. And then one nice thing, I don't know if BMW still does this, this button here. I'll put the camera outside the car and you can see what the mirrors do when that button's pressed. Both mirrors fold up like that, so if you've got a tight parking spot, you can press that button from inside the car. Both mirrors will fold up like that and uh, make your car fit just about anywhere. That motion sensor I was talking about is found right up here. So if you leave something or someone in the car that's going to move, uh, maybe a dog, or you leave the windows open, you definitely want to hit your lock button twice in a row. That'll disable that 
So, uh, for example, if somebody sticks their hand in the car, it won't go off. But if you do want that to be armed, then just hit it once. Here's the tachometer display. It looks really nice. It has the M logo on the speedometer. Put the key in, you're going to get your, I believe it's called the check display now. I don't know if, what it was called back in 2000. All the uh, information is here though. Mileage, miles since your last gas fuel up, if you reset it, temperature. Press this button here, if I can move the camera. This button here is going to change your computer settings. It'll tell you how many miles on range and go through all your consumption usage details and, and everything like that. One more feature I wanted to mention was um, the really nice technology BMW really tried to put in here, and they did a fantastic job. The whole interior feels like a really quality car. This car retailed, uh, the suggested retail price, the MSRP, was $72,900, so that was a pretty expensive car in 2000. Um, made it again till 2003. Um, more technology in here. They would, if the car changes... Um, longitude or latitude while parked, well, the emergency brake, or there's some system that realizes that, that it thinks it's being towed, pushed, tampered with of some such, and uh, it'll turn the alarm on, which is really loud and obnoxious. So that's a nice feature. If somebody tries to tow your car, it's going to freak out and turn the alarm on. Just really great security in here. The computer system uh, works really quite well, and it's really laid out nicely, too. If you look at a Honda or a Ford from this year, even until recently, um, they're not laid out well. Notice the titanium around the gauges, engine temperature down there, fuel over here, engine temperature over there. Very easy. Your arms here move easily. Turn your signals on. Bright lights are good. Wipers, we may need those, except my key's not in. Um, I really like it. I think I'm going to have this car for a long time, even though it has 147,000 miles on it. It's got a good stereo. Sounds good. We'll make more videos about it later. Another thing I wanted to mention with the key is if you press and hold this top button, you'll notice that the windows will go down and the sunroof will open. If you press and hold that, keep pressing, keep holding. So that's a really nice feature to get the car aired out. Um, if you're standing next to it in a parking lot, all the windows can open up for you. One other thing here, this is a tire pressure um, tire that's just a tire monitoring system. Get your tires where you want them as far as pressure. Push that button, drive it around a little bit. That way, if your tires lose pressure suddenly or anything goes wrong with that, it'll come up on your onboard computer and notify you of the error. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like the content. Be sure to find us online, www.techinform.us. My personal Twitter for more information is twitter.com slash James R. Schultz. Be sure to catch us live every Tuesday night from 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Time on ustream.tv slash techinformus. Thanks, guys. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.